Hello, my loves. Welcome back to another fabulous part here of Eco Lifestyle. So today we're starting a little bit differently. I'm going to be going and voicing over the tiny renovation speed build that we did. Um, I was really, originally was not going to post it, but then it turned out to be like, oh no, I should really record it. And I'm really happy I did because I really liked how it turned out. So this is what her house would look like. Angelina's house would look like without um, a single or sim. Um, it's actually really interesting. We do a lot of cool things to this that I'm curious to see what you guys will think in the comments down below. Also, once again, we are pre-recording. I am editing. I do know what happens later on this episode. It is a short little, little clip of a speedboat and then we'll jump straight into gameplay. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to see Angelina on her own, separated and things. I'm curious to see what you guys think of her and those type of things. And also, we're going to try to move into an off-the-grid location, by the way. I think that's where we're headed towards, but for right now, this place will do, um, up until we move and things, but yeah, I don't know, I'm excited to see your guys' reactions to these parts, since, um, this is being pre-recorded, and I won't know what your guys' reactions are until, like, until release, um, well, until this week coming up, and I'm very, very curious, I do want to mention, though, um, down below, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, The Last of Us Part 2, which is an adult video game for anybody who is a child, you have to be 18 years and older, I'm going to try to make it like an adult stream. Um, and that is just because it deals with a very, very adult themes. But the release party is tonight, and so I'm going to actually be doing it myself. Um, hopefully at midnight if everything works out. If not, uh, then we'll be doing a stream when I get home from work at 6, which I'm also very, very looking forward to because I have a special box and everything, which I will unbox here on YouTube in case you are um, a Let's Play watcher. How do you guys feel about the breakup? We know all these things in the comments as I'm very, very curious. Personally, I think this is a great development and I'm very, very happy with where we went, but I'm not really sure how you guys will feel. Um, we're actually about to come to the end of this little tiny speed build, um, so we're about to jump into game here in the next few seconds or so so if you guys really did enjoy it you know i don't really know how to end these things we're gonna jump into the gameplay and it's gonna be a fun time i promise you're gonna like it we're all gonna like it i promise sorry i i ended too fast but as you guys can see here i do make sure we have everything we even make even more bigger additions which is really really cool one of the biggest additions is we have a candle making station which is about to show up by the way and i love it i love the up top roof garden there's a lot of pieces here that i really really do enjoy i hope you guys do all right let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay footage hello actually uh the intro has probably already happened hello welcome to the gameplay part of this uh the video actually the renovation actually took me like 30 minutes to do so i figured we can make a small little video in the beginning of me doing the renovation and then we'll do the later half the actual video or hello my loves and this is the beginning and the renovation will be at the end. Not really sure how it works. We'll figure it out though. Um, but yeah, the renovation was just a little bit longer. So either way, we're here. I'm gonna show off the building um, and I'm assuming you guys have already seen it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably first. And then we're gonna talk about the cool things that we're gonna be doing today on this lovely Saturday. She technically doesn't have to work. And originally I was gonna come back on Monday. That was the original plan or even Sunday. But I got a cool new item, and I kind of just want to work on some skills and stuff with you guys. And I think it's going to be really, really fun, and I'm really, really excited. So, yeah, let's let's talk about it. So first things first, let me showcase the new abode that we live in. I am I think this abode is much prettier and much better than our last one, so I'm quite excited about it. And we totally could have done this with two people, by the way. I did not need to make it two stories, and it didn't really need to be two stories. But either way, so this is what it looks like, um, the outside at least. The uh, bin is still in the back of the house and stuff, and it's very confined to this one Pacific area. Oh, did we uh, catch him mid poop? I, I, I don't know. Let's see here. What you doing? Nope, you're just gonna go bark at her. Uh, but upstairs, I did extend the garden a little bit. I made sure that we had our solar panel, which I think is on. I don't really know how that works. They might not turn on unless we have, I don't know. We might also turn it off the grid because I'm not using any lights and um, water and stuff. We would have to use off the grid items, which we could totally change. Uh, and we have gone back and forth, by the way, on money things. But as you guys can see here, one of the remote. Okay, so we'll, we'll get there. 
but also greener world from doing green activities. A greener world is a better world. Angelina is feeling pretty inspired how green the neighborhood is getting, which we'll talk about here in a second. Very, very exciting news. But this, so this is what the upstairs looks like. We went ahead and got some bees. Um, I'm not done bees in a long time, and I think bees is really working for us. And because we're going to be really focused on gardening and um, things like that, it's a very big part of this. That I'm just going to kind of merge some season stuff in with this, and I hope that's okay with you. Then we also have our, um, ooh, oh, no fun. Health is declining. And do we nurture it, I wonder? I'm not sure. Uh, but then, I already went this. I collected the biofuel. I think we're going to collect nuggets going forward. Um, the only problem with biofuel is that I don't really have a purpose for it because the biofuel runs the generator and the generator is industrial. So it saves a lot of money, but there's there is a huge cost for doing doing that. So going downstairs, downstairs is actually just one four and we fit everything inside this one four. So starting right here is we have our desk. Um the coloring is off and so I will make it of lighter wood actually. I think I might change the desk entirely, but for now it looks fine. We do have a P oh um a computer, a laptop. And then I decided not to put her back in school. I keep going back and forth on this. And I would let know your guys' comments down below as I, there won't be another pre-recorded video. Um, I'll be pre-recording them when, like, around this time next week. Around this time when you guys see it, we'll start pre-recording again. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Should she go back to school? Should I keep hunting? Let me know, as I would love to. I did go ahead and get a Murphy bed as it is cheaper and it works better it's a double-sided one um because it you know it's a couch and a bed and then i also got a tiny living tv which is a bookshelf it's a, it's a whole bunch of different cool things over here so that's very very good and it will work out really really nicely for us um the kitchen is three counters wide um very very small but also it should do just fine then we have a small bathroom right here which I've changed the orientation up a little so we can actually use some stuff sorry my dog really wants to play so you can hear her in the background um, and then let's see here outside the only smaller differences that I've made is this which we're about to talk about which I'm very very excited about and we also have this which uh, is now an over like an under thing that way it is covered and things we don't have to worry about it which I thought was very smart. And also I changed it to now we're on stilts. I kind of like it better on stilts. I like the look of it. It's either we should have it flat or on stilts. And I didn't want it flat for some reason. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, we might end up going flat as it does get rid of some titles and stuff. And right now we're in tier two. I don't believe I can make a 32. I'm sure I could, but I don't want to make a 32 home. Um, so we won't get down to tier one. She does want to do something. She wants to bond with the bees. And she also wants to meet a dog. Another dog from her dog. Um, but we also have this. Which is the candle making set. So like I said before. I do believe we're going to go off the grid. Um, so let's do that together. I think that might be fun. I do have to keep an eye on the time. Because I can only record for like 10 minutes or so. So there's a lot of things to talk about here. And also I want to try making candle. We're moving from neutral into a like the best eco footprint we can become and we're slowly doing that i'm very very excited about it and i think putting us off the grid will even help more um so that's very very exciting so let's go ahead and i wanted to make a dip candle we're just going to make a white dip candle candle making is a skill and she is hungry and she also needs to take a shower but i want to see this and we're on a time crunch you know what i mean like yeah yeah mm-hmm this video might be a little bit longer than normal just because of that. Oh, okay. Hold on. I, I don't know exactly. I have a... I don't have a, like a, a screenshot. I have a few. But, of course, we want to take pictures and stuff so I can do... I find it to be so cool and things. Um, I think, honestly, it's just so, so cool the way they do it. Look at that. So cool. I'm so excited for this. Um, personally, candles are like one of my favorite things. I don't, I can't smell. It's just something that's been with me for a long time. I've talked about it once or twice before on the channel. And um, so I just, I think, oh, she burned herself. 
that could be a good screenshot. Something like that would probably do very, very well. But yeah, she's about halfway through. We're gonna just zoom up the process just a little. You can see how it's getting thicker and thin. Ah, there it is. Okay, okay, I'm so excited. Because I have a feeling that's probably what we're gonna have to be doing is candles to kind of light up the room. Um, and so if we're gonna be placing them on different surfaces and stuff in order to light them, they can run out and things. Uh, and also I wanna mention all this stuff is in by the bug in case you don't wanna make them yourselves, but I think it does take away kind of, of the fun and things. I'm curious as we continue. I wonder if this is a fabrication skill, if it's all under one skill or not. All right, so let's go ahead and light this candle. <gasps> There it is. And like I said, before we get off here, um, the last thing I wanted to do, like I said, we're a 62 by 64 tile. Um, so we do have some perks and things for being a tiny home. Um, you got the touch skills increase at double the standard rate, which is great. Um, cozy, so everybody's always comfortable. It also lightens the load. And so the bills, because we're using less energy, will mean, mean lower as well. What I really wanted was the let it grow. I think that was something that I really, really, to plant grow us twice as fast. But hey, it, you know, we're going to do the best we can. And also, I put eco lot, which just means it moves faster towards um, eco friendliness. And also, great soil because gardening and stuff, and like I said, gardening will probably be a big part of this. And then also, I think for a little bit, I want to try it. Uh, where, where is it? Off the grid. So off the grid, this lot connected to the util this lot is not connected to the utility grid. And most objects that use power or water will not function as expected. Can your sim survive without comforts of plum plumbing and electricity? Natural living does have its advantages, such as no utility bills. So we're gonna do it. We made ourselves off the grid, but off the grid, however, does require brand new objects for the bathroom and possibly the fridge and the stove and such like that. So let's go ahead. There's a whole new category, by the way, um, called off the grid. It's a whole new category. And actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna see exactly if my toilet. So my toilet is the ambassador. Is that what mine is? No, we're at modern relief. So we'll delete that and we'll grab the ambassador my shower i don't I, I didn't think so so we're going to delete my shower and then we'll get the perfect modern which breaks down a lot but for what it's going to do i think it should be fine okay so once again lighting for off the grid and stuff is candles candles are my favorite way to really light up the world and so you don't even have to use like the candles that you already have in game and stuff you can even put these candles down and they can add some extra lighting such as lanterns and um things like that like this is like one of my favorite things to use these tea light candles are some of my favorite items in the game um and things of such i think we're gonna put this one up there though for grilling purposes for food uh the gas stove is what i'm assuming so we're, we're gonna go ahead and delete that and that should open up a whole range of things. We also can put a grill. Um, we're gonna grab a gas stove since we can't afford it. Might as well grab it. And then, let's see here. So as you guys can tell, our fridge is not compatible, but the next most expensive fridge um, is not until all the way down here. Every other fridge, as you can look at, is not compatible. And so for now, we're gonna have to deal with getting like a, a cooler as we uh, we move into this selection of things. This could be kind of cool. This Looney barbecue could be cool. I don't think we're gonna use it at this moment though. All right, continuing down the line, the long line of things. We have that. 
Alright, continuing down. Um, let's see here, we have beanies. I got, I was going to get one of those. I decided not to. They're expensive. 275 We could get one now instead. Lots of renovations in this video. It's going to be a major part of the video for sure. Wind turbine. We definitely need a wind turbine. It will help with some eco air. We can only fit one on the ground. This also will help. I know that for a fact, but we're just going to we'll, we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. It's not a problem. Fireplaces and stuff. We definitely don't want a fireplace. Okay, hold on. Candle making. Vertical gardens. So, the fabrication machine, is that not off? Is that a not off the grid item? Well, we'll have to wait and see when we jump into game. Why won't we? For fabrication. I do think flower setting could be really fun and really, really cool. Is a like a side hobby, a side hustle to get into. Um, it's also very eco-friendly. All right, it's off the grid. So we're gonna read this. This household is off the utility grid. Objects that require power or water will not work unless these objects are supported off the grid. Supplemental water utilities may be collected around the world. Also check out all the off grid category in building by for helpful objects and updates. Some objects that can create water and power utility even while off the grid are wind turbine, water generator, dew collector, power generator, and solar panels. As long as the household produces more power or water than it uses, objects that can use utilities will continue to work. So for instance, alrighty. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... No! Ah! Her bed's not off the grid! Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this part here. Um, for the... For... Yep, I think this is, this is the ending. Oh, this is interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the best ideas are going forward. I do want to continue down the off-the-grid path. Maybe not with this particular house, but maybe a different house that we move into. Um, like, maybe her final home is off-the-grid. I'm not sure. We'll see, though. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time for another people video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.